This is my father, Clarence Wayne Odom. And Gabriel wanted to hear a story about when I was younger, we had a dog that was a little bit off key. He, he wasn't the smartest bulb on the light stream. But I came in one time and the dog was in the house and I came in and brought a big watermelon and set it down in the kitchen floor. And that dog nearly went crazy. He would come in one door and he'd stick his head around the door and he would bark like crazy at that watermelon. But he wouldn't come in the kitchen. And he'd first thing you know, he'd go back through the rest of the house, come out another door, and we had one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six doors leading into the kitchen. And that dog would go from one door to the next and stick his head in and bark at that watermelon. And, but he never would come in to see what the watermelon was doing. It was just laying there. And that dog get nearly, nearly drove him crazy to we finally ended up eating the watermelon. But that, that's when the dog, quote, went back to normal. <laughs> it, his normal. But anyway, that was uh, a crazy dog we had years ago. And of course, we had him in three rivers. And yeah. Papa, how old are you? I am 71 years old. And Bubba, how old are you? Six. You're six. And Papa, will you... You'd be seven before long. That's right. And Papa, will you tell the story about when KK was a little baby, about when you would come home? When, when KK was a baby, probably as old as Zane is now or younger, by the time I'd get home from work in the evening, it would be late. And Grandma, Nana had already put K down for bed and finally got the house quiet and Kay would be asleep and I would go in and wake Kay up and take her and sit in my chair and put her in my put her in my lap and we'd watch the Tonight Show with Johnny Carson every night. That very chair you're sitting in. In this very chair here. And <clears throat> Nana would get a little bit upset with me and Kay because we couldn't get Kay to go back to sleep again after I had been there playing with her and talking to her for all this time. So Nana would get a little upset with Papa that she'd finally gotten Kay quiet and asleep and I, then I would come in and wake her up and play with her and then whenever I got ready to go to bed or we all got ready to go to bed. Kay wasn't ready anymore. She wanted to stay up. So, I could say Nana, Nana would get a little upset at times, but but she put up with us. So we're both still around. So that's the reason KK likes to stay up late to this day. You think? Kay probably would stay up all night if we just left. Her. So she's a she's a late night person. So just like I used to be. So. That's probably the reason she she likes the nighttime. It's quiet. And she can do her own thing that way. And Papa, if you have um, enough time, will you tell us the story of the first time that you and Nana met at the dance? I had gotten out of the army and had gone back to college at Texas A and I down in Kingsville, and a couple of friends of mine showed up. And one of them I had just gotten out of the army with. Uh, who? Kenneth Funderburg. Uh, when he got out of the army, he didn't go to college. He went to work. And he came down to the, to the football game that night, all upset because he had just gotten a recall that he had to go back into the army. And he came down to see if I had gotten a recall where I had to. And he said he was going to tell them that he wasn't going unless I went too. And so that night at the ball game, I met a friend that I had gone all through high school with. And he had a date with a girl named Jean May. And they were double dating with 
Nana and uh, and her escort. And we met them at the ball game and talked with them and found out that they were going out to Hubert's Dance Land after the game. So back then I drank a little. So we went to man's house and we drank until he ran out of liquor. So then we took off and went out to Hubert's Dance Land. And we met up with Larry and Tom and Nana and her friend Jean again there at the dance land. And I just went over the table and introduced myself and told Nana's date that if he didn't mind, I was just going to sit there with her. And then I asked her to dance. And I don't know that we ever went back to the table. <laughs> We danced the rest of the evening until the place closed that night. And then we went home. And then I called Nana the next week and asked her for a date. And Nana and I started dating. And then the next summer we got married. So we've been married for 47 years. And how long did you guys date before you got married? September to August. September to August, almost a year. Oh, wow. Okay, and who is Nana? Nana is Isla. Isla K. Bumpers Odom. Yes. So. And does Nana still keep in touch with Tom Luce, that original date? Have you ever seen him <laughs> since? <laughs> we spent a weekend out at their ranch. No, that wasn't Tom. Uh, uh, Malachek. Yeah. And is Jean, is that Aunt Jean that you're yes. talking about? Oh my goodness, so Aunt Jean has been there from the get-go. Yeah. She gave you stamp of approval for Papa. And, and I, uh, she was in our wedding, and then the next summer, Jean and Walter married, and, I, and Wayne and I were in their wedding. Okay, and so, and Jean was the friend that was with you at the dance, correct? That's right, the night that I met Daddy Wayne. <clears throat> Is there any other things that we need to know about that There's courtship? There's 47 happy, happy, happy years. Yeah. Blessed with two beautiful daughters, and now then we have four fantastic grandchildren. Is um, Odessa, who is 13, and Gabriel, Gabriel who uh, will be 7 in February of 2010, and <clears throat> Isabella, who turned 4 in November of 2009, and Zane, who was born in August of 2009. That's all, folks. We have a beautiful family. Yes. A beautiful family. Well, thank you for sharing your stories. Gabriel, is there any story that you want to share? Not that I know of. Not right now? Gabriel went home with his dad oh. in November and was sitting in the deer stand when his daddy shot him a six-point buck. And Gabriel, you want to tell us about that story? No? No. Did that deer, did daddy get it the first time you guys saw it? The second time. So you saw it one time, and then what happened? Did it go away? And then it came back. Why do you think it came back? It happened like four times. Why do you think it came back? I don't want to talk about that story. Can we let Dad tell the story? Because he Let's let Papa it. tell the story. Papa knows the story, doesn't he? Yeah, Papa, why did that deer come back? Why do you suspect that deer came back? Deer and came back because Gabriel prayed it would. That's right. And his daddy told him if he'd come back, he'd shoot him. Mm -hmm. And Gabriel, does God always answer prayer? Not always, but most of the time. Not always the way we want him to, right? But he always answers prayer, doesn't he? And is God good? When is God good? All the time. And all the time? Daddy's good. 
God is good. Okay.